everyone. For those who don't know me, I'm Linda Davis, and you are watching my very first Christmas home tour ever. And this is a learning curve for me, so please bear with me. But I promise, if you subscribe, which I believe you click on the link over here, it will get better because I love to learn things and I'm having fun with this. And that's what I believe life is all about. We have the serious stuff, but also you have to have fun. I also like to share, and I have a lot to share. I have been in the business of interior design, styling, marketing, and travel for well over 30 years. I'm also a self-publishing magazine publisher, so I'm always working on that. So I will always be online, whether it's the website, here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, follow along because every place I share something a little different. But this holiday home tour, I promise, will be different next year because my husband and I are remodeling this home. We just purchased this this past summer and it was built in the early 1830s, but we are now finding evidence that it could be older. And it was stripped of its character in the 1980s. So we're slowly going to be adding back molding and character to the home, but also making it our home and livable and updated. So I will be sharing my how-tos for that as well. Because I used to also flip homes for a living. So I know how to do, to a, a limit, electrical, plumbing, power tools. But the older I get, I really prefer others to take those projects on. I'm in my 50s. So even though I have a lot to share, I have a lot to learn, and I will always share what I learn if I like it. So once again, I hope you follow along. I hope you subscribe and visit our other sites.
is a little room in the back of our house that we right now lovingly call the tavern. Um, at one point it will be opened up into the rest of the kitchen, but we have sometimes our breakfast in here or dinner. It's just a nice little room that overlooks the backyard. And let's see. Oh, I ended up bringing in some of the napkin rings that I made just for fun. I'm going to take you into our sitting room. This room, you know, everything that we have here right now is furniture that we brought from our other home. And until we do the remodeling, we just found places to put it. So uh, this is where we have coffee and uh, check my Instagram in the morning. My little vintage tree. And at the base here I have some suitcases that were from a Ralph Lauren display at uh, Lord & Taylor many years ago when I worked there. Not much in this room, just uh, enough to make it feel merry.
Well, the kitchen got a quick cleaning this morning. I thought I would show you, even though this kitchen doesn't have much done to it because this will be part of the construction. Um, we have plans that the wall here will be coming down and I'll turn around the other option. I have another wall that might be coming down as well. But I thought I'd show you these are the little Trader Joe wreaths that I got and I just did some house to ribbon. And I love wired ribbon. Let me slowly turn around here so I don't make you dizzy. There'll be a doorway here that will be going to our upstairs. And I just threw this uh, sled up here just because I had it and I didn't even put a bow on it or anything yet. But there is also the option of putting a door here and there used to be a door there going to a porch. Back in the 1880s, I found a photo, uh, a drawing. So um, that could also be open. That's the little sitting room that I showed you with the bright colored lights in the tree. But that's the kitchen. Um, simple, does its job, and just a few touches this year. Usually I have a tree in here and everything, but uh, just was no time and so much other things going on. There's some priorities. So tree next year, unless it's in mid-construction, my favorite whale.